Hello everyone, welcome back to another Minecraft command block tutorial. It's me, Luke LCS again, and today I'm going to be teaching you about the slash TP command, otherwise known as the slash teleport command, which you can type it as slash teleport, but why would you? Because um, it's just so much longer. And, uh, nah. okay, nah. here we go. Uh, and I brought along a friend to do it. Uh, this is Miles to go. Say hello. Hi. Anyways, so I brought him along because um, obviously you can teleport different specific players and stuff, and I wanted to show that off. So this is the basic command, slash TP. Uh, so, and you don't have to have a slash in a command block. I just chose to put it there because I like it that way for some reason. And then you need a target selector, like at P, in other words, nearest player. So that's the one we're going to be using the most. That's the one I'd usually recommend, like if you're using command blocks. So you just set the button or whatever for command block to be really close. So the person activating it will likely be the one teleported. Unlike that situation where he was like right up, like, like what, what were you hugging it? I, I don't know. But um, so... And, of course, we have the location that you want to teleport the player, which is this right here, which is the XYZ coordinates. Um, and there, you can open up, like, the F3 debug menu and stuff, but I just find that really busy and annoying. So, usually, when I want to get coordinates, uh, like, let's say I wanted the coordinates of this spot right here, I oftentimes just go ahead and, like, place a block, open up the set block command, and you can hit tab to, like, uh, auto... Uh, do things so like i have slash set and then hit tab and i can hit tab to cycle through the options and then i just go ahead and <laughs> no bad miles bad miles no okay so um <laughs> what i can do is i can just go ahead and uh do this quickly before he breaks it again and um and now I have the, uh, I have the coordinates. So, uh, basically when you're looking at the block, make sure you're looking at it. And so you have a little outline around it, but you can just, um, go ahead and auto select that and then copy paste the coordinates. So that's really useful. And then we don't need it anymore. You can break it now. Ah, beat six. Okay. So, uh, anyways, now, um, obviously, uh, we already actually had, coordinates in here so it doesn't really matter but they are the same as you can see uh negative 103 blah, 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 whatever you can just pause the video and look at it if you if you want to but uh they are the same and of course now the nearest player will get teleported and again it is miles because he really likes he really likes the command block i don't know why you like it so much but he does here i'm gonna hug it too there that time i was teleported finally uh okay so, um, that's the basics of the slash TP command, and that's probably what most, most of you came for. But let's say you wanted to, uh, teleport to a player, or have a player teleported to you. So that's really useful. And of course you could do, like, all players or all entities. I tried the all entities before. Please do not do that. I highly recommend you do not. But now, all players, so both me and Miles, were teleported at that time. And then there's also random players and stuff. I usually just use nearest player. But yeah. So that's that. But let's say you wanted to teleport to another player, or you wanted to teleport another player to you, which is definitely very useful in, like, creative multiplayer and stuff if you're running around a world and someone's far away. So, Miles, why don't you go away somewhere? G go somewhere. Leave. Leave us. Leave us. Please go. Thank you. Okay, so let's say I wanted to teleport to Miles, so I can slash TP Miles to go. Now, like I mentioned... <laughs> Uh, like I mentioned earlier, where where am I? Oh, okay, it, this stuff's over there. Okay, good. Like I mentioned earlier, you're down there. What, <laughs> stop moving around. I don't know where you are. Okay, well, I mean, I do. I was looking at you, but what? Ah, whatever. So, um, as I mentioned earlier, um, you you do need a, uh, or maybe I didn't mention it, but you do need a name or a target selector with uh, a command block. So, like, if you wanted, like, if I were to delete this. Or, like, let's say I replaced it with my username. Which I don't recommend that, because then it can only be used for one person. But maybe that's the way you want it. But, um, or I could go ahead and I could do it with Miles. And it would just teleport him. Exclusively him. So it would only be him. And he would just stay there forever. Or not. You can go now. I'm just kidding. Okay, sorry. <laughs> well, that's my revenge for you breaking that block. Uh, anyways. So, um... 
so it'll only teleport him. But let's say there wasn't a name and there wasn't a target star. It wouldn't do anything. It, it doesn't matter who presses it or, or where you are. It doesn't do anything. However, if I were to do uh, the same command, so like, let's say I just copy paste this. So it's the exact same command, right? And I were to put that into my chat, it would teleport me. So in the chat, you don't need a target selector. You can have a target selector. So like slash TV uh, at P and then uh, let's just get the coordinates real quickly this way. It would of course teleport me. So I can use the target selector if I want in the chat, but I don't need it. It doesn't, I don't have to have one. So that's how that works. But you can also teleport players. So like teleport um, at P and let's actually delete the coordinates now and um, change it to miles go. So it'll teleport the nearest player to, to him. And uh, so like if I press the button again, I get teleported to him because I am the nearest player. Unless of course Miles presses it, in which case it teleports him to himself. I know it's it's it's, it's weird, but um. Anyways, so that's pretty much that with the command blocks. But um, if I were to teleport, like let's say I wanted to teleport Miles to me, I showed you how to teleport yourself to another player. But you can actually teleport another player to a specific location as well. So like if I wanted to teleport Miles to uh, our nice little spot here, I I, I should probably just copy and paste the the coordinates now so I don't have to you know, do the whole thing with deleting the other part of the copy paste command thing uh, so I can just teleport him there like that just in the chat window but I can also teleport him to me which is very useful as well um and so now he's teleporting to me and stuff and of course you can do that too but he's not not as familiar with commands or as quick with them so yeah you're teleporting your your tell hey how about you press it so i'm hugging the command block and then you press the button <laughs> I, I, I mean i was in your face that was that was actually really scary <laughs> that was weird uh, anyways so um that's a majority of the things um there is also uh like you can also do tildies and stuff so like you can do relatives like if i want to teleport myself five blocks above the command block i could do that or I could teleport Miles five blocks <laughs> above instead. Wee, you're jumping! Looks like you're jumping for joy. Uh, anyways, so so I could also do that, or I could slash TP myself, like, uh, 100 blocks up if I wanted to. Or I could also teleport myself five blocks on the uh, X coordinate if I wanted to. And I could teleport myself until I'm in a wall. And then I... I think I'll just do that. There we go. Um, <laughs> so you can also do stuff with relative coordinates. Uh, I don't find relative coordinates nearly as helpful. Uh, I feel like precise coordinates are usually a lot better. But uh, hey, let me turn it back to daytime. Uh, time, time set day. Not time day, time set day. There we go. Uh, you just learned another command too, I guess. Uh, but um. Yeah, I don't find relative uh, uh, teleporting nearly as useful as specific teleporting uh, or teleporting to players, but if you want to use it, that's also available. Anyways, I think that's pretty much it. I hope you enjoyed the tutorial, and if you did, make sure to like as well as subscribe for more tutorials as well as other kinds of videos as well, and I'll see you all next time. And with that, I think I'll take my leave. Both of us will take our leave. Uh, goodbye.